So that was a large soft box. But soft boxes also come in different shapes and sizes. This is a small soft box, um, and it also has diffusion material. Soft boxes also come as strip lights, which are sort of very, very narrow, tall soft boxes. Um, but they all have one thing in common. They have a, a back that controls the light and diffusion material in the front that softens the light. So for soft light, soft boxes, octa boxes, things like that are really where you want to go. So you get that really, really nice soft light. And then for harsh light, you want to use uh, standard reflectors or just normal different size reflectors so you can control that. So hard light, soft light. So let's talk a little bit more about controlling where the light falls. There are different things that you can use that are really, really handy. One that's very common is called a snoot. Now, it's not a Devo hat, but it uh, looks like it. What the snoot does is it's just a, a cone, and it allows the, uh, the light to travel and emerge a very, very narrow beam. And this is used for uh, things like lighting the background, uh, hair light, just giving an accent on something. Um, it's called a snoot. And the way this works, depending on your manufacturer, there's different ways, but normally uh, it just attaches to your standard head. And so then that attaches onto your, uh, your light source. So there's another thing that's really, really nice that doesn't narrow the light quite as much, but it also controls the light, uh, and that is called the barn doors. What barn doors do is you can adjust these in and out. They spin around, um, so you can have your light controlled, you know, keep it from falling on a background, something like that. So those are barn doors. Again, they're on a standard head, so these are going to be used when your light is pretty hard. So um, you wouldn't have barn doors on a softbox. And then finally, to really control the light, this is, and I'm not sure you can see that, this is a, uh, it's called a grid. It looks sort of like a, a honeycomb. And you can get these in different um, degrees. This is a five degree grid, so it controls the light from spreading in five degrees. You can get these in 10, 15, 20, 25 degrees. So basically how, uh, how controlled you want the light, you get a, a tighter beam spread. And you can get some really amazing effects with these. So again, the light is gonna be harsh because this attaches to a standard reflector, but it's gonna be very controlled. So you get like almost a film noir look out of these. One of the tricks that a lot of beauty photographers use is to use a grid light on what's called a beauty dish. A beauty dish is a really, really large reflector that makes the effective size of the light really large and so the light is even though it's a reflector really nice and soft they put that honeycomb grid on the front so you have soft light but very controlled light so that's that's something a lot of beauty photographers use the other thing you can get if you want to control the light you can also get attachments for soft boxes you can get grids that go onto the front of these just like you can for a, a standard reflector um, and then you can also use things called flags, which I'll show you in a second, that will allow you to do basically what a barn door does, and that'll control light from spilling onto a background or something like that. So let's take a look at flags so we can understand what they do. So this is a flag, and what a flag does is it keeps light from falling in areas where we don't want it to fall. So if we wanted to block the light from falling onto a background, we could put it between the light source and the wall, and that would keep it from falling. The other thing that you can use flags for, it's very common, is sort of like a big baseball hat. And you put that over your camera and that blocks light from falling into the lens and causing lens flare. So if you have a light that's really uh, getting in the way, you can use a flag to block that out. If you watch episode zero of Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -one, you'll see a good example of when we flagged some lights that were falling into the lens of the camera. The other thing that we use quite a bit and this is a light modifier that doesn't attach to the light source itself, but uh, it's a, a large reflector. And so if you want to open up the shadows in your shot, and say so you have a standard head and you're bringing it from the side, what you're going to have is a very, very high contrast shot with light on this side. Now to add some light on this side, just to fill it in, you can use a very large reflector like this. The light will bounce off this and fill in the other side of your subject. Or you can use the reverse side of this, it's, a very, it's just a solid black panel, and that's called subtraction, and it does the exact opposite thing. So if you want a higher contrast image, you can put this on one side of your image, and so instead of having light bounce off a wall or something, this stops all the light from bouncing, and so you're going to get a very, very dark uh, side to your subject. So uh, these panels come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, this one is just a little bit smaller than 4x8. 
Um, and you can also get uh, diffusion material to stretch over these frames. And so it's a, a really, really handy modifier to have. And these come, they're round, square. You can get them in all different shapes and sizes.